In this movie we'll show you how to run a first level analysis on RNA-seq data from Ian Torrens personal genome machine on a genomatics mining station. The sample data sets are available in the torrent dev section of the Ion community website. The RNA-seq libraries come from the Ambien human brain reference and strategy in universal human reference. To use the Genomatics Mining Station you first have to log in with the username and password. So we enter these up here and after authenticating the system will transfer us to the projects list. As you can see this is empty for now. So first we need to create a new project which is done down here and now we can give the project a name, iNTorrent RNA Seq. And we could also select if other users should be able to see or export any results from the project. Hit the submit button and there we are, the project is in the projects list. Clicking on the icon will give us data like the creation date and size of the project. And to open it, click on the name of the project. As you can see it is again empty, no data or results in it. So to add data or start an analysis, click the new analysis button down here. First of all now we need to import some data, so we click up here and the file chooser pops up, which allows us to go down to the folder where the raw read files are. To select a file, either click on the name, or you can also use the shift key to select a group of files, like all these for the universal human reference here now and then clicking on OK will bring up this window where we can give a, sam a sample name um, we choose on torrent which are for universal human reference here then we click on the submit button down here and the input gets started And when the import is done, we get some key statistics for the reads that we just imported. Here's the nucleotide distribution overall and the ambiguities. Here is the length distribution of the reads from about 5 to about 200 nucleotides in this case. And this is the nucleotide distribution along the length of the reads. If we want to see these statistics for any of the other files we imported, you can just click on the files here on the list to the left and the statistics will pop up. Now let's start an analysis on these files. Clicking the new analysis button again and then choosing genomatics mapper. And then we want to use all the files we just imported so we can click the select all button down here. Then we need to set the parameters for the analysis. We start out with the name again, iron UHR. We want just one result for all the files we selected, not one each. So we click Merge Data and for the PGM it's best to map with insertions and deletions to set minimum ma mapping quality to 80%. Down here we leave the defaults to get multiple hits for reads and to calculate de novo splicing. Hitting Submit finally will put the analysis in the job queue and if there's still a free slot on the machine, if there are not too many other jobs running, um, the analysis will get started right away, like here. So while this is running, we can just start a second analysis using the human brain reference files. Um, so we click on the data import again, and as you can see, the file chooser is just where we left it. So we can easily find the five files for the human brain reference. Also for the sample parameters we can just do a small correction here to call it iron torrent HBR and the files will get imported. And here we are, files have been imported and we get the same sequence statistics, nucleotide distribution, length, overall distribution. We can also show these um, for each of the files if we want to. Now let's start an alignment on these again. 
again we choose the genomatics mapper and now we have to select those five files that we want for the analysis or the HBR files and as you can see the parameters have been left the same so again just a small correction here to the name everything else has stayed the same and clicking on the submit button will start the second analysis so now let's go back and check what our first analysis is doing as you can see this is at 1% and in real time this analysis would take about an hour and as you probably don't want to sit here watching the progress bar wandering to the right for an hour we'll just speed things up for the sake of this movie so here are, we are already at 45 percent of the mapping done and now we're done with the mapping and writing the output files as you can see above the progress bar there are always short messages informing you at what stage the analysis currently is and as soon as everything is done you'll get a screen with some key statistics um, here comes a little window showing us that the analysis is finished the statistics shows you how many reads could be mapped uniquely or multiple or were insufficient for the analysis and moving the slider down here we also get us a histogram showing us the read qualities they start at the minimum 80% that we set and go up to 100% and now that the analysis is finished what we can do for example is we can export files from the project um, you click the export project button down here and you can export any file that's contained in the project so for example if you want the read statistics where we saw the histograms and curves before you can select um, the statistics files for any of the sequence files that you imported as you can see to the right you get a preview of the file that you select and to export any files from the mapping just select genomatics mapper here for binary files like big bad or bam there's obviously no preview but for any text files that the genomatics mapper produced um, you'll also get a preview on the right as soon as you've s selected all the files you want click the submit button and now you can choose if you want to convert any files or if you want to compress them using gzip for example and clicking OK here will start the export and all the selected files will be written to the designated output folder now let's switch back to the second analysis this is now running and it is also at 1% so we'll just skip to the end here it is done already again you can see most of the hits were mapped uniquely and what we will do now is we will do a classification of the reads that got mapped so we start a new analysis click on the read classification analysis type and select the uniquely mapped reads from the human brain reference and um, submit this analysis and after a little while the analysis is done so here's the result as you can see from this comparison compared to the genome the uh, annotation for our reads is mostly exonic as is to be expected from an RNA-seq experiment you can also see this clearly from the enrichment histogram where we have a 16 fold enrichment of reads in exonic regions of the genome and here's a statistic distribution all over the chromosomes in absolute numbers and reads per thousand base pairs so that's all I wanted to show you about the first level analysis we could go to um, downstream analysis now by clicking on the GGA button up here but this will be shown in another movie for more information on our solutions and services please visit our webpage at genomatics.com more movies can be found on the genomatics webcasts channel on YouTube and our Facebook page is at facebook.com slash genomatics.